Hello everyone, this is April with Craft Knife Chronicles and this is an introduction to the series of construction videos for the Steampunk Locomotive. There is a five page materials and cutting guide that accompanies these videos and it is located up on Dropbox and you can download it for free. It consists of an introductory page that you can see here that lists the materials for both the locomotive and the mini album and then a list of tools that you will need besides your basic construction tools. Then the next two pages have the cutting guide for both medium weight chipboard and which continues on the next page and then a lightweight chipboard The third page has the templates and then if you're interested in using the quotes that I had in the mini album, those quotes are on the last page. For this project I use the Graphic 45 Steampunk Debutante paper collection. Now I had the original version of this but you could also use the collector's edition. And if you wanted to make this out of a different paper, in the material guide it specifies how many pieces of uh, decorative paper I used. Some of the special tools that are almost more than helpful, I would say almost necessary are there's a lot of cutting of chipboard circles in this project and this a movers and shapers die called size circles by Tim Holtz will be invaluable. I also have and several manufacturers make this series of nesting circles die. These just cut um, cardstock weight whereas these movers and shapers will cut through the chipboard. Um, up here at the top I have a crocodile tool which cuts 1 8th and 3 16th inch circles. You will need something that cuts 1 8th inch circles. I don't think I used the 3 16th inch side if I remember correctly. And then this is a heavy duty 1 quarter inch um, uh, circle punch. Uh, this version is by We Are Memory Keepers. It will cut through uh, two layers of medium weight chipboard and you will need a heavy duty quarter inch punch, either this or something similar. Although I would say that this project is for at least an intermediate paper crafter, if you have some experience building three-dimensional projects out of chipboard and paper. I hope that with the series of videos and the cutting guide that you would be able to construct this project. It certainly was a lot of fun to design and create and I think you would enjoy making it as well. This is April with Craft Knife Chronicles. Happy crafting! Bye for now.